Hello, good evening everyone. This is a question that our friend Abigail rose this afternoon and I would like to discuss it in length if this is possible because it was a few minutes before our session ended and I felt and still I feel that we did not even uh, reach even the beginning of the discussion about eating meat, killing animals, veganism, this is a very, very vast topic. So just to open the discussion, the first 10 generations from Adam to Noah, those first generations lived for hundreds of years. We can find the documentation of the years that they lived. And those 10 generations they did not consume meat, meaning they were living on plants. And they lived for hundreds of years. But from the generation of Noah, we see a break in the pattern of which human used to live. And from Noah generation, People are allowed to eat meat. And there is a beautiful discussion in the Zohar about this movement from eating plants to, to, eat, to eating meat. And so says the discussion in the book of Zohar. When people did not eat meat or consume meat, they lived hundreds of years and the notion of living for so long, for hundreds of years, went into their head until they thought that they will never die and they felt like gods, meaning those 10 generations who lived hundreds of years, 800, 900 or so. And they believe that they are almost gods and they had dominion of what they felt. But from Noah on, and this is a decision, that to decrease this sense of... This is quite interesting because in a way we can see it in a, again another dualistic movement. On the other hand, on one hand, those generations do not consume meat. They eat just, let's say, plants and fruits and seeds. They live for a very long time, hundreds of years. But with it also comes the notion of we are like gods, we are immortal. Yes? And from our generations we see cut. And suddenly there is a decrease, like in discussion to Noah, as the Bible, s the Bible says, Lo yadun ruhi ba'adam, my spirit shall not judge human, beshagam hu basar, because he is also flesh, and he shall live 120 years. So, we can see a cut and go, until Noah people lived hundreds of years. They eat only plants, fruits, vegetables, grains. But from Noah generations and on, they are allowed, yes, in, in certain conditions to eat meat. And with the same notion of with this permission to consume meat, also their lives are limited to 120 years. And so goes the Zohar and says that once people are eating meat, the meat is something very thick and heavy. So when there is a consumption of meat, the spirit is not fresh 
anymore because the spirit, Ruach, is being attached, yes, to the meat, to the flesh. And it is not fresh anymore. And person becomes more and more like animal. And he is not refined as he used to be. Therefore, this, this is very interesting if we can get to the bottom of this idea. Because by eating meat or by allowing people eating meat, two things are happening. Yes, there is, in a way, permission or consent for Adam, for human, to consume meat. But with this also comes a decision not just to let people eat meat. There is a pre-decision or pre-assumption that those who consume meat, the spirit will get cleave, yeah, will get attached to the flesh. And by this process, there is a limitation of life of men. So in other words, by allowing or permitting people to eat meat, yes, this decision already, what, cuts the human life. Yes? So people can eat meat. Yes? There's no problem. But it comes with a cost. Once there's a consumption of meat, there is a decrease in the life of men. And in a way, this is, this, this is the wish. Because what happens is when people are getting long life or living long life, they start to believe that they are immortal. And they make all kinds of things because they believe that they are, n they are not limited. But, and this is the, the decision that comes with the flood. Yes, once there is, in a way, permission to eat meat, to consume meat, there's also with it comes a decision to, in a way, to cut men's life or to decrease men's life because he is flesh, meaning to limit his life, to limit his evil. So in a way, there is a, <laughs> this is an interesting solution, yes? You let people or you permit people eating meat, and by permitting people eating meat, their lifespan is being shortened. And by their lifespan is being shortened, they cannot do harm, yes, for so long. Yes, if they cannot harm other people, yes, because their life are, li are limited because they eat meat, so they cannot harm so many people and so for a long time. So it's a good deal. Plus, since the life of humans are so short from Noah, only 120 years, people can reach certain time, a certain age, and say, okay, so my, my days are getting short, maybe I shall change my ways. Yes? So this is quite interesting. People can live many, many years. This is a possibility, but it also comes with a cost because, because if there is no limitation yes, on the years that people are living, they start to believing that they are immortal. And, they've, and since people thinking that they are immortal, they think they can do whatever they like. Yes? And in, in a way, they interfere nature because they think that they, they are overpowered. They will never die. Yes, this is the kind of drunkness. But if, and this is the interesting part, you let people or there is a permission or consent, okay, eat flesh. Yes, but very, very good thing happens when people eat flesh. 
first they become the animals that they eat, they get the same quality of the animal that they eat, it also shortens their lives. And by shortening people's life, we have guarantee that they cannot do harm for a long time, meaning to limit, yes, their ability to harm. Animals, people, nature, and so. So this is, in a way, the cut or the decision, yes, that is happening in the time of the flood. So the first 10 generations are nourished by plants, seeds, fruit, and so, not by meat, not from flesh, not from killing animals. Their life are very, very long. And since their life are very, very long, they feel that they are eternal and they are like having this unlimited power like gods and they're starting to act like if they are God. Yes, this is why the Bible says shichet kol basar. Kol basar is corrupted. Yes, kol basar, when we write it and we translate it into numbers, this is 10 times. Being, everything is being corrupted and there's a need to create a new format yes of humanity because this format of eating yes plants is not working so now from now on will be a new lineage of men they will be allowed to consume to eat meat they will be in their nature closer to animal and their life spends will be shortened and this will grant the rest of humanity that if they choose to do harm or if they are programmed to do harm this harm will be limited and why is that so in order that the flood will not repeat so this is how the Zohar, this is one, one of the explanation or one of the discussions in the Zohar about the flood and about the permission or the consent for men to eat flesh. By again, I repeat, maybe this is quite, uh, I would say, complex idea, but by the mere fact of letting people or permitting people to eat meat, yes, there is in a way guarantee that they would not live that longer life to harm other people. So this is only the beginning of the discussion in the matter of flood and the consent for men to eat meat or to consume meat to deduct, to reduce his ability to harm other people, animals, nature, and so. I hope this is, was not too hard or difficult to understand. And if you have questions, please write to us. Wishing you good evening and wonderful week. Shalom.